Hello everyone, I am Lord Chilling and today we're gonna make So, in the few previous videos a lot of you requested to make Slenderman, so today on the plate, or rather baking tray, we got Slenderman. I planned to make it a week ago, but as you might know or might not, I'm running two channels at the same time, this channel and also my plush puppet channel Lushy Plushy and this take a lot of time, so that's why this video is released today. And if you are not familiar with my second channel, make sure to give it a try after this video. Links are in description, cards and end screens. I know that some of you watch both channels, some of you only this channel and also some of you watch only Lashy Plashy. So I'm fine with that, but I'm just saying that if you like this channel, you might also like my second channel. Alright, without further ado, let's focus on our creation. So as you see, I started like in almost every creation with the base. To this base, I'm stick aluminum wire and I am waiting 10 minutes until it dries. When it's drying, I'm making color for the base. Our Slenderman will stand on something that looks like a rock, so I mix grey clay with black clay and the result is very dark clay. At this point I decided that I'm gonna bake this figure only once like I did with the new monster bendy figure. If you watched that video you know what I mean. So I'm gonna glue again the point where the wire meets the wood base but this time I'm using other type of glue to make even better connection because as you will see later those two thin aluminum wires will carry around 300 grams and that's a lot. So meantime when the second glue is drying I'm opening the first pack of black clay and I'm cutting it into pieces because I will be running it through my clay machine to make it softer and to make shape for the legs. So as you see I rolled this piece of clay and I cut it in half, those two pieces will be our Slenderman legs, the rest of clay I will save for later and now I'm placing the base on the vise. This vise is so helpful in project like this because it holds the figure in one place so it's really useful tool. After that I'm placing the grey clay for the base on the aluminum wire and I'm cutting it to the size of our base and I'm placing another one on top of that to cover dried glue, it will help us to create the shoes and of course liquid glue, I almost forgot about this one. Now we will be placing legs on the aluminum wire, so I make a cut in each one for the wire, but first we are gonna do the shoes. And while I'm making it, I'm gonna answer some questions from the comment section. Is the clay hot after you put it in the oven? Yes, it is very hot, you actually might get burned if you touch it with the bare hands. I always use the kitchen oven gloves to take it out and I'm always taking out the whole baking tray. And after that I wait like from half hour to one hour to cool down because after that time the figure is solid and hard and I can remove it from the baking tray without fear of destroying it. But back to our Slenderman, we finished the foods and now I'm smoothing the left leg and making another one. 
his legs will be very long and as you see I'm starting from the bottom now I do the hip area and while I'm making this I'm gonna answer some questions and if you have any questions make sure to end them with the question mark so I could easily find them in YouTube studio so we got question what kind of oven do you use well it's just a normal oven I'm sure every one of you have an oven in the kitchen so you don't need any specific oven but back to our sculpture I just finished the heap and now I'm tangling aluminium wires and opening another pack of clay this one will be for the torso so I just shape it to match the size of slenderman heap and by the way this is the third character that I made in suit Recently you made a lot of them, first was Reaper from Fortnite, then Slappy and now we're creating Slenderman, I wonder what will be the next figure in suit that we'll create. So as you just saw I placed this block of clay on the aluminium wire and now I'm connecting those two parts together and our figure starting to be heavy so it might dangle a little bit and now I'm cutting the top of the torso because I need to make arms so I tangle a little bit of aluminium wire and I cut it in there where arms should end it so very near the knees and now I'm gluing it so it will be no loose Something is wrong with this slender man. But anyway, let's back to our figure. When I went for the water, our glue just dry, so now I can close the torso. And now, as you see, all my Fimo professional clay have ended, so I use Fimo Soft and we're gonna make arms. So again, I cut it in half like I do with the legs, and while I do this, I'm gonna read some comments. Someone wrote, do dame tu cosita, <laughs> please no, uh, ok another question, how do you know how much clay you need, well I don't know, I just always buy more than I need for a project, because I never know how big it will came and in this case my black clay almost ended, I used like two and a half pack of clay so that's a lot and this figure is probably the tallest of anything I ever done so we in a moment make a record on this channel but back to our figure I just make a sheet of clay and I am placing it on the torso and this will be the end of a side so as you see I'm cutting it on the edge and then I connected it with the torso and we are gonna make details on the suit so again I use the sheet to do that and while it's finished I'm gonna do the folds on the suits with my clay shaper too so with that our slenderman will look more realistic and while I do this we got a few more questions were you in the Netherlands on 14 July 2018 because if you were I think I saw you on the mark no it wasn't me but I do sometimes go to the mark not very often but sometimes ok I just finished the folds and now I'm gonna place the arms where their place is and I am smoothing the arms and smoothing all the figure to get rid of fingerprints after it's done I will be making hands so I cut the clay where the hands should be and again some folds on the arms why not and again a little bit of smoothing Dude, stop, that's creepy. <laughs> you don't have tickles? No, I don't. <laughs> Who are you anyway in this family? Husband of Slendrina? No, Slendrina is my daughter. 
and granny. My wife! And grandpa? Mm, my friend. Uh, so why are you not with your family in Bahamas? Mm, good point! Hmm, that's explain everything. I'm pretty sure that Granny is cheating on Slenderman with Grandpa. If you have any other theories on that, let me know in the comments. Maybe we can use some of that to get rid of them from my house and... W what do you want? Ask them if they have tickles! No, go away, I'm doing the voiceover. Please! <sighs> okay. Slenderman want to know if you have tickles, so let us know in the comments. So let's back to our figure, it's almost done, now I just unpack the white clay and I will make the head and the hands with fingers, so as you see I'm placing the fingers separately in the hand and I'm connecting it with the hand using my hook scalping tool. And when it's done I will be making some of the white t-shirt of Slenderman and I'm cutting the wire. Now I'm making the neck and placing the head and I make some makeshift nose and chin because in a moment we will be covering it with bandages. So as you see I cut pretty long belt of Paul McClay, I made this in level 8 on my pasta machine and I'm covering with that the head of our Slenderman and all those elements that I made previously will be hidden behind the bandages but the shape of it will stay so now I'm making the tie and smooth the surface of our hands and of our suit with my brush. And we are very close to the end, now you will see that I place the support on the baking tray and it will secure the Slenderman because he is very tall and very heavy, around 300 grams, so it might fall in the oven, so that's why I use support. Now the last tip, the base and Slenderman is going to the oven and when I take it from the oven I just need to remove support and take it off from the baking tray and it's done! Let me know what you want me to create next! Oh, it's ready! Oh, it's awesome! It's easy, your wood broke it! <laughs> Can I do the ending? Please. Yeah, go on. Leave a like or I will come to your house and I will tickle you to the dead. Or maybe not. Subscribe and smack the bell very hard to see more creepy pasta characters. Click on the end screen to see how my beautiful family have been made. Granny, my wife, Slendrina, my daughter, Grandpa, my very best friend. Also check out Lord Chirik's second channel, Lashi Plashi. This is Abdul.